Thank you for joining me. This is Tim DeLay with using windowshomeserver.com and the BYOB podcast. There may be times with Windows Home Server 2011 that the dashboard either does not work, becomes non-responsive, or will not stay open. Let me show you how to fix it. The first thing you're going to want to do is remote desktop into your Windows Home Server version 2011 and try the dashboard from the remote desktop connection. Again, this may happen because of add-ins that do not install properly, because of a setting, or because of a corrupt operating system. You can see here that I opened up my dashboard, and while it's slow to open, and does actually open itself, it's non-responsive and closes immediately. Let's figure out a way to fix this. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is go to our Start menu, go to All Programs, and go to Windows Home Server 2011 Safe Mode for Dashboard. Now you can see here that I can enable or disable different built-in add-ins and components. I incorrectly installed an old auto exit add-in and I'm going to disable it and then click on continue. If you're not sure which add-in is causing the problem or what's happening, you can individually select or deselect each enable or disable within each specific component. Once you've clicked on disable and started up the dashboard and the dashboard is responsive again, you can go to add-ins, you can find the add-in that was a problem, and again, I incorrectly installed the 2010 version, and then you can remove it. Click on remove, give it just a moment, and it will remove the add-in. When you're done, it'll show it's been successfully removed. You can click on close, Close the dashboard out because remember it's still in safe mode and then restart the dashboard. Okay, after about 10 seconds, the dashboard opens back up. You can see everything is responsive. The add-in has been removed and everything looks good. Once you've verified the full functionality of the dashboard through the remote desktop session, uh, close out the dashboard, close out the remote desktop session, and verify that the dashboard works through your launch pad on one of your client computers. Check back with using windowshomeserver.com for all things related to Windows Home Server 2011.